Chess gang, what up? Let's see if we can do better in the second game today. I'm a little disappointed with uh, the last game's performance. I want to make it up. Okay, we are playing Yuri Kalita from the Motherland. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. I'm going to play the standard London setup here. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. He goes for the early c5. I'm just going to respond with c3. Just going to develop all my stuff. Pretty sure a night trade is just in order here. Yeah. Only awkward thing about this is that if I take on e4 and he retakes with a pawn, my knight naturally wants to jump to e5, but then he can just push f6. So it kind of forces me to waste a move. Yeah, so I'm actually kind of glad he does that. Um, taking with the queen or taking with the knight. I'm probably just going to take with the knight here. Hmm. This is fine. So he basically kind of locks both of our light square bishops in, uh, which isn't like the end of the world. I could still go e5 and then like forces f6 out, which would be a little bit awkward. Then we can kind of like maybe abuse this line a little bit. But I think I'm just going to play bishop b2 and castle and play normally. Hmm. That's an interesting line. Hmm. 95. Hmm. And yeah, what's awkward about this is that I can't put my queen or my bishop on these squares, which is a little bit of a little bit of a bummer. I almost wonder if I should have trade it off this way. Hmm. I think I should have traded off this way and just went after the just the tip of his pawn chain here. But who knows? Uh, I'm just going to play normally. Play Le Castle. Hmm. Okay. Sack a bishop, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Boom. <laughs> hmm. I'm really tempted to go ninety five just to get his uh pawn pushed up and away from his king. Hmm. I'm just gonna see how he responds to this. I I just wanna see if he's gonna go. Okay. I think that's actually good. I'd actually be thrilled to take with the pawn here. I've had I've had pretty good luck getting the pawn to e5. I wonder how I can pressure this. Hmm. hmm. Do something like this. Knight g4 maybe? Maybe knight g4 pressure this a little bit? I think I have to get my queen over here. Yeah. I think that's actually what I need to do. I think I need to just bust open the center on the e on the e file. Hmm. Why would you want to do that? That's a very interesting move. Hmm. 
I need to start getting my queen over here. Okay, how are we going to do this? I don't want to push the pawns. There's actually like this knight of 3g5 idea. Hmm. I'm just going to try it. I don't think he can get his queen out here. He can try to go like queen of 6 maybe, but... Yeah, okay. How are we going to do this? I want to get my queen over here to g3. That's my goal. If I can start pinning these pawns, I'd be thrilled. I think I want to get the bishop onto c2. Um, that seems like a decent spot for it. I was watching some videos about the London system where the idea is basically to sack this knight on h7 here. And then just try to open up and then find the line this way. But I don't think I have the right setup for that. Ideas, ideas. Yeah, this pawn c4 was really good for him, I feel like. Because it's really blocking my piece's ability to get on d3 and c2, which is pretty valuable. So I oh, almost kind of wish I would have just taken that pawn when I had the chance. Yeah, maybe him getting his dark square bishop out to c5 like wasn't the end of the world or anything. Yeah, I think I should have went for it. It's caused It's causing me problems now. Really? Is that right? I feel like that's very good. Oh, I guess that prevents the knight from moving to e5. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Not gonna over <clears throat> not gonna overthink this too much. Uh if he wants to break open the center on the E file, I think that's okay. I have enough defenders on E5 here. Yeah, but I I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna push E5. <clears throat> I don't think he wants to break his pawn chain. He probably will push knight e5 though. I think e3 or e4 is the play here. He only has one defender. I, I need to break this open here. I think e, e4 is the idea. Plus, I can just kind of get my queen out this way too. Yeah, I mean, I have both of the, the bishops facing this way. 
my queen facing this way, so I just need to start opening up this space. I think e4 is okay here. It seems okay. Hmm. He has F6 push. That's that's interesting. I wonder if I should continue to push. <clears throat> I mean, he can just push up and he's just going to lock in my light square bishop. Yeah, so I think this is pretty good. I can just get the light square bishop out. Or do I even want to take with... No, I think the light square bishop is the way to go. And just maintain the pressure here. Just examine my moves. Make sure there's like nothing else really good that I have. Taking with the rook doesn't seem like the right idea. It's uh, probably like the only move. You could probably push f5 here, and that might devastate my whole plan. But that will open up knight e5. And then we can start going for some trades, and then I can start pressuring the other way. Yeah. You need to be careful of this, too. My queen is <clears throat> almost loose, only defended by the knight. Mm, trade the queens off. Could trade the queens off. I'm protected here. I want the queen though, but he has three attackers on this pawn. I really only have, well, one. Well, let's see, if he takes, I can take back. He can take, we can trade. <clears throat> so if I move g3, he can take, I can take back. Takes with the knight, I take with the knight. Yeah, then I should be winning that. <clears throat> so if I take, he takes, I capture back, then he captures the pawn. Maybe that's not very good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure which direction is better here. I want the queen. <laughs> I don't want to give up the queen so easy. Uh, oh, I guess I could fall back this way too. I don't know. It might be a mistake, but I think I'm sort of evening out the number of attackers here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I basically have like one more <clears throat> defender than he has attacker here. I think it's okay. I want to just scoop my queen over. 
Yeah, I could scoop my queen over and then just snag this h7 pawn and then dip back to somewhere and then maybe even just trade it off. Well, I just plain have this defender here. I think he's just trying to remove the defender from the queen. But I can just fall back. I should be thrilled if I could get my queen out here onto f3. I feel like that'd be valuable. <clears throat> I think I'm okay with this. He'll take the pawn. Uh, I want the bishop on this diagonal, so I'm just going to recapture with the queen. He'll probably take this pawn, I imagine. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Probably want to go like rook d1 just to threaten his queen. I probably want to get my queen off of the same file as his rook, though, right? Really? That's a really interesting move. I'm really tempted to go rook d1. Hmm. I wonder what's more valuable here. The pin? Or threatening mate. And I think if I threaten mate, he just pushes up. I think I'm just going to go for the pin, honestly. And he basically only has two defenders here. I mean, I could just reinforce this pawn here. Or I can just try to go for the fast mate. And see if I push up. He can just push up. And that makes it worse. So I wonder which one's better here. Would I rather? I'd rather have him weaken on the H side, on the H file or the G file. Yeah, because he'll be forced to push up here. Hmm. Yeah, but then again, I can just go back and then just pin that pawn too. I think I'm just going to go h3. Yeah, it doesn't threaten mate, but it threatens a very valuable pawn. I think h3 is better too, because if I go g3... He can always take the pawn and then threaten the queen this way. So it's kind of a double attack on the queen and the bishop. That's something I need to be mindful of. Yeah, g3 was not the play, strictly because... Yeah, okay, so we saw that coming. So how do we take advantage of this? I mean, I guess I can go here and then go for the pin. 
But again, that's kind of the same problem that we're running into. If I go g3, he just takes the pawn, and then my queen is exposed. Just going to do something. I've been wanting to play this rook d1 move. I think it's pretty good. Interesting. What's that do? I don't like the position of these pawns. I kind of want to go back to c2. What's this really threatening? Oh, the check. I see. I mean, I've had that check for a while. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> this piece is hanging. Yeah, I didn't even notice that check. Whoops. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right now I can't even go here either. I could push up and like take space, but I don't know. Let me try something a little bit unorthodox. And this knight's actually defending some valuable squares. <clears throat> hmm, interesting. Well, I think that loses a pawn, if I'm not mistaken, because... Right? Doesn't that lose a pawn? Because if he takes on e5 here, he's kind of in trouble. Yeah, now if he pushes his pawn, I can always just go bishop d4. I think rook d1 was pretty good. I want to go b3 and get my bishop out on this diagonal here. He can't block that in, and then I could try to get my queen over here. Yeah, I need to fix the spot of this bishop. It's in a bad spot. Well, his bishop is very pinned. I don't know what else he can do. I think he's just going to have to lose his bishop. Or maybe just... No, he can't even trade it off. I think he, I think he had to move his queen there. I'm going to trade bishops. I mean... Uh, trade bishops. Get the queen out here. Hmm, that's an idea. Yeah, I don't like the spot of this queen. I think I'd rather just get it somewhere else. I don't think it's that valuable at this point. I'll get it out to here. I don't want this pawn to advance. I think I'm just going to take his bishop. If he wants to take, that's fine. Hmm. Do a really nice check here. 
Is that really where I want to go, though? Um, hmm, really tempting. He can just block in with the rook. And then what? I gotta think faster. Yeah, this queen move just seems like way too risky, queen e6. Well, oh, I'm up four already. Hmm. Kinda wanna just... No, I don't wanna give that up. Do I just go protect? Hey, too many options, man. I don't want to. I don't want his pawn getting over here. That's the thing. Wonder what this check does, if anything. Nothing. I don't really want to block this in. I'm just going to do something. It's going to be a little bit, I think, unconventional. I want to go pawn f3 and then just take with the rook because I really don't want him to take this g pawn because I always fall apart with an open g file. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to protect this. No, you know what? I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Actually, yeah, if he wants to block in with his rook, <clears throat> I actually think that's good because I can take this pawn now and actually defend this at the same time. Or no, not defend it at the same time, but... <clears throat> This bishop just became very valuable. Hmm, I could try to get into here. That seems too slow. I think just taking this pawn is okay. Reinforcing this way, maybe? No, that seems too bad. Hey, too many options. I'm playing so bad here. Don't want to lose a pawn for a bishop. I know this looks really awkward. I, I know that looks really awkward. And I don't think it's the right move, but we'll see. Yeah, it's fine. I can either get the rooks out. Can't quite go for the queen trade. Hmm. 
So it's actually not like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> hmm. Right. He's got two defenders here. We are going to trade queens off, which is good. Hmm. Um. Just going to play it slightly safer here. Man, if this pawn wasn't here, I'd be able to get my queen out here so much earlier. I probably want to just play h3 at some point, just so he doesn't get his queen out here on e1, and I lose. Because that would be kind of a bummer. I could try to go for the bishop c1, bishop b1, queen c2 idea. I want him to initiate this trade just because I have two defenders here. Oh, so you actually want to go for that, huh? Um. I go for something a little bit different. I want to just go for mate on h7. I think I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> Probably push up, but even then, it's like he's gonna have a hard time defending that. Um, that's fine. I think he has any checks here. Still defending this pawn, still threatening mate here on h7. I think he has to push this pawn up since this is defended now. It's slightly annoying. Yeah, I think he has to go g6. Yeah, I think pawn g6 is his only move here. Oh well. Go for the trade there. This is a really annoying move. Um no, I can't go there. Man, I don't want to lose this. I'm tempted to sack. I'm going to sack the rook. I might have just lost. But I think I'm okay. I think he still has to play. If... Okay, that's fine. Oh, and then he 
wins this, Joy. Damn it. Uh, this is okay though, I feel. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I had to make sure to not get back right there. Um, block in. My best hope is honestly just to trade the queens off at this point. I'd probably just take the pawn. Oh. Well, I've regained some time, so. Not much, though. Um, nope, don't want to go there. Let's see. Just going to continue to offer the queen trade. I think it's my best bet. I don't want to get draw by repetition here. I need to move the H pawn up, protect this diagonal here. He might be able to squeeze me in at some point. Oh, he's going to be winning this pawn. It's a bit frustrating. Yeah, he wins this pawn here. But then I win another one here, so it's not the end of the world. Hmm. I could almost... Let's see, if he goes here... I know I need to start pushing pawns, but I mean, I just really want to go for the trade. I just start pushing these. 
I just want to trade off, man. I'm really tempted to go king here and then just look for the check. Oh, he can give me the check that way. That's going to be a bit rough. I misplayed that. Oh, no, he can't give me the check because that's defended by the H-pawn. I saw that coming. Oh. Ugh. Bro. <laughs> I'm gonna go punch something. <laughs> Why, bro? Ugh. I'm done playing chess today. <laughs> I'm so, so done <laughs> with this game today. I don't have the strength to do the review. Ugh. I don't have it in me to do the review. <laughs> GG, thanks for watching. <laughs> See you in the next one.